Football, like any other sport, carries its risks. While players train rigorously and compete with determination, sometimes they face dangers beyond the game itself. Here are some harrowing accounts of football players who narrowly escaped death. Robert Griffin IE's Concussion During a pivotal game in the 2012 NFL season, Robert Griffin IE, the highly touted rookie quarterback for the Washington Redskins, faced off against the Atlanta Falcons. With the Redskins trailing late in the game, Griffin attempted to engineer a comeback drive. As he dropped back to pass, Griffin found himself under immense pressure from the Falcons' relentless pass rush. Desperate to extend the play, Griffin scrambled out of the pocket and sprinted towards the sideline. Just as Griffin reached the line of scrimmage, two Falcons defenders closed in on him with lightning speed. In a split-second decision, Griffin attempted to evade the impending tackle by cutting back towards the middle of the field. However, before he could react, the two defenders converged on him with bone-crushing force, sandwiching him between their bodies. The impact of the hit was immediate and violent. Griffin's head snapped backward as he absorbed the full force of the collision. He crumpled to the ground, lying motionless as the stadium fell silent in shock. Concerned teammates and medical personnel rushed to his side, fearing the worst. After several tense minutes, Griffin slowly began to regain consciousness. Despite appearing dazed and disoriented, he was able to walk off the field with assistance. However, it soon became clear that Griffin had suffered a severe concussion, raising serious questions about player safety and the effectiveness of concussion protocols in the NFL. Frank Gifford's career-threatening injury. Frank Gifford, a beloved figure in the world of football, found himself in the midst of a fierce rivalry between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles during a game in 1960. Gifford, known for his versatility and athleticism, was a key playmaker for the Giants in a perennial Pro Bowl selection. However, on this fateful day, Gifford's career hung in the balance after a devastating collision with Eagles linebacker Chuck Bednarik. As Gifford attempted to haul on a pass from quarterback Ye Bednarik, delivered a bone-jarring hit that sent shockwaves through the stadium. Gifford crumpled to the ground, unconscious and motionless, as players and fans alike held their breath in disbelief. Medical personnel rushed onto the field to attend to him, fearing the worst. Initial reports suggested that Gifford had suffered a severe concussion and was lucky to be alive. In the days and weeks that followed, Gifford faced a long and arduous road to recovery. Despite the uncertainty surrounding his future in football, Gifford remained determined to overcome his injuries and return to the game he loved. Through sheer grit and perseverance, he eventually made a triumphant comeback, solidifying his status as one of the greatest players in NFL history. Kevin Everett's Spinal Cord Injury In September 2007, the Buffalo Bills were locked in a heated battle with the Denver Broncos when tragedy struck. Kevin Everett, a promising young tight end for the Bills, found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time during a routine kickoff return. As Everett raced down the field to make a crucial block, he collided with Broncos returner Dominic Hickson in a violent clash of bodies. The force of the impact sent shockwaves through Everett's spine, causing a catastrophic injury that left him motionless on the turf. As medical personnel rushed onto the field to attend to him, the severity of Everett's condition became painfully apparent. He was unable to move his limbs and showed no signs of feeling below his neck, leading to fears that he had suffered a career-ending spinal cord injury. In the days and weeks that followed, Everett's prognosis remained grim. Doctors warned that he might never walk again and faced an uphill battle to regain even partial mobility. However, Everett refused to give up hope, embarking on a grueling rehabilitation regimen that pushed his body to its limits. Miraculously, against all odds, Everett began to show signs of improvement. With the unwavering support of his family, teammates, and medical professionals, he defied medical expectations and eventually regained the ability to walk. His remarkable recovery served as a beacon of hope for spinal cord injury patients worldwide and highlighted the importance of research and innovation in the field of sports medicine. Mike Utley's Paralyzing Injury It was November 17, 1991, and the Detroit Lions were facing off against the Los Angeles Rams in a routine NFL matchup. Little did anyone know that this game would change the life of Lions offensive lineman Mike Utley forever. During the game, Utley was engaged in a typical play when suddenly, everything went awry. As he attempted to block a Rams defender, Utley's body twisted in an unnatural manner, and he fell to the ground in agony. His teammates and coaches rushed to his side, but it was immediately apparent that something was terribly wrong. Utley couldn't move his legs. Utley was rushed to the hospital, where doctors delivered the devastating news he had suffered a severe spinal cord injury that left him paralyzed from the chest down. 
The prognosis was grim, and many feared that Utley's football career was over, if not his very quality of life. Despite the overwhelming challenges ahead of him, Utley refused to succumb to despair. He approached his recovery with the same determination and grit that had made him a standout player on the gridiron. Utley became an outspoken advocate for spinal cord injury research, using his platform to raise awareness and funds for the cause. In 1992, just months after his injury, Utley famously rose from his wheelchair during a Lions game, demonstrating his indomitable spirit to the world. Though he never fully regained the use of his legs, Utley's resilience and courage continued to inspire countless individuals facing their own battles. Dennis Bird's Miraculous Recovery On November 29, 1992, during a game against the Kansas City Chiefs, New York Jets defensive lineman Dennis Bird experienced a moment that would change his life in an instant. As Bird pursued the quarterback, he collided with a teammate in a freak accident that left him lying motionless on the turf. Bird had fractured his C5 vertebra, an injury that carried a dire prognosis. Doctors warned him that he might never walk again and prepared him for a life confined to a wheelchair. However, Bird refused to accept this fate. With unwavering determination and the support of his loved ones, he embarked on a grueling rehabilitation journey. Bird's recovery was nothing short of miraculous. Through countless hours of physical therapy and sheer force of will, he gradually regained movement in his arms and legs. Less than a year after his injury, Bird stunned the world by walking onto the field at the Jets' home stadium, a powerful symbol of triumph over adversity. Bird's story transcended the world of sports, capturing the hearts of people everywhere. His resilience in the face of overwhelming odds serve as a testament to the power of the human spirit. Though tragically killed in a car accident in 2016, Bird's legacy lives on as an inspiration to all who face seemingly insurmountable challenges. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of sports. If you're passionate about all things sports, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest videos.